We are following breaking news at five. Here's a live look right now over Half Moon Bay, where we have learned police are investigating separate shootings where people have died. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. This happened in the area of Highway 92 and the Half Moon Bay city limits. We do have a map of that area. We'd like to pop up on your screen right there. Also, KTVU Zach Sauce just arrived in this area in the last 20 minutes. Zach, a lot of moving pieces here. We're hearing multiple people shot. You also saw just one person and taken into custody. What are you hearing? What are you seeing there from where you're at? Well, yeah, as you mentioned just moments ago, a suspect taken into custody. And the, a few minutes later, the San Mateo Sheriff's Office confirming that the suspect in uh, the reported shooting was now in custody and that there was no longer a threat to the community. I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can see what it looks like here. We're along Kelly Avenue and Half Moon Bay, where uh, a media staging area has been set up earlier. Again, though, reports from a local state senator that four people had been killed in two different locations here in San, in Half Moon Bay, rather. One of those locations along San Mateo Road and Highway 92. Another location which has not been confirmed yet. But again, a suspect now taken into custody. Uh, so again, no longer a threat to the community. As we arrived here, we did get some video of that suspect being arrested, uh, escorted beyond a fence. But again, no further details at the moment. This is a very fluid situation, and we will certainly be waiting for more updates as they come in. Back to you. Hey, Zach, when, when it comes to those two separate locations, and again, I know you just kind of wrapped up on the scene there about 20 minutes ago, but so far you're hearing from anyone about a possible connection between those two scenes? Yeah, there are some unconfirmed reports that both of those locations were connected in these shootings. Uh, it's something that the state senator alluded to, uh, but we're still waiting for uh, concrete confirmation from the sheriff's office that they are indeed connected. And when it comes to the San Mateo County Sheriff's Department, any word when they may, you know, jump in front of a camera, have a news conference and give us more information? Uh, not at the moment, but I can tell you again, this all very fluid. And as we arrived here, they were still setting up the police tape. And literally, I, I jumped out of my live truck as I arrived because they were just escorting that uh, person into custody probably about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. But again, you know, clearly people here pretty much on edge because we're talking about a, a mass shooting that occurs just one day after that mass shooting yesterday in Monterey Park uh, down south in uh, outside of the Los Angeles city limits. All right, multiple people killed there in Half Moon Bay, one person taken into custody. Zach, as soon as you do get more information, get back on air and, and we'll broadcast it. Zach Sauce live tonight there in San Mateo County. Zach, thank you.